Welcome to Show Up and Glow. My name's Jalen. This is my cozy corner. A space created just for you to tune in and chill out. If this interests you, I invite you to find some headphones, a quiet space, and join me for a calming and comforting experience. If this is not for you, that is okay. I appreciate you stopping by. As you notice yourself enjoying your stay, please be sure to like and subscribe for more of this calm and cozy vibe. Now let's get started. All I ask of you today and every day is just relax with me. That's it. I just need you to relax. Sit back, relax, enjoy the show. Enjoy the sounds. And um, that's kind of it. Turn your brain off. Turn your brain off. Just focus. That's it. You know, before I had the cozy corner, my way to just focus like that and turn my brain off was Bob Ross. Yeah. He really helped me through some tough times when I just could not turn my brain off. And he was... Obviously, he's been around since I was a kid, but I never really gave him a shot before this tough time in my life. And so when he was, like, truly introduced to me and was told to me to just watch him, put my phone down, put away all the distractions and just watch Bob, it became such a fantastic, safe place to just escape for a little bit. And that's all I ask of you today and every day when you join me in the cozy corner. Just put it all down. Just give yourself the gift of slowing down, finding some stillness in some present moment. We don't, we don't get a lot of that during our days, you know? So, enough, enough yakking. We're gonna come back to time to Huda. I love this coloring book that was gifted to me from a viewer. They found it on my throne wish list. I have it linked below if you're curious about what the throne wish list is. Here in the cozy corner. Everything you send me from the throne wish list is anonymous. It's anonymous from you. It's anonymous to me. Um, and I bring it on the channel. I'm in my color pencil era right now. Oh, childhood. Oh, childhood, take me back. But not really, you know, but if you're not smelling your colored pencils when you take them out of their container or open the box, what are you doing with your life? Okay, let's see what we're going to color today. I mean, they're all super cute, but like that one kind of spoke to me today. But I had my, I had another one too. Mm, I think we're gonna 
go with that one I just saw. We're going to start on this. We will not finish it today. I can't tell you how far we'll get today, but we're going to start on this one. A stack of books. It's one of my favorite things. A little tiny horse. And a plant. And a teacup with a tea in it. So if you have a coloring book at home, that's the only thing I allow you to do. There's only one rule, which is there are no rules. But if there are rules, num rule number two, is if you have a coloring book and you want to color along with me, please take that out right now. Or sketch or draw, whatever. Whatever uh, relaxes you while we kind of just hang out and chill. my kind of cozy routine during that kind of rougher time in my life I would almost every night color in a coloring book with these colored pencils at my kitchen table I would listen to music um, specifically a playlist I would create an ad to on Spotify. I would listen to that music. I would color. It would calm me down. I would drink um, this calm tea that I had. I know there's so many out there, but this one was like a magnesium calm. I would sip on that while I colored. And then I felt like I was at a good relaxed point I would turn on Bob Ross then I would watch an episode and I would just focus on that I would focus on his words what he was telling me the viewer anybody And I always loved the payoff at the end when there was a full freaking picture that he just created within 20-30 minutes. Like it was no big deal. And then I would go to bed. Thankfully, at that time, he was on Netflix, and I could just watch so many episodes, no commercials, back to back to back. It was awesome. It was so great. Because there's nothing, nothing worse than feeling calm and cozy, and then literally a commercial breaks in, and you're like, wow, I... All that work was for what? So I really loved, loved, loved that. It 
that's why we don't have commercials here in the cozy corner midway through the video either. It just, it just kills the vibe so bad. If you yourself have been feeling a little bit more anxious than lately or like you're having trouble calming down, I would encourage you to find that, that simple routine, you know, that you can add every night, whether it's tuning in here to the cozy corner, going back and watching some old videos finding another YouTuber who brings you that sense of calm. Sometimes the Bob Ross channel runs like marathons, which I love. So most of the time it's like on the weekend, uh, which is awesome after a long week. Um, or like this, find some coloring books. Maybe you do painting, listen to some nice calm music, piano music, classical music, ambient sound music, and just try to cultivate a nice routine. It'll become second nature and it will help your nervous system. It will calm you down. It will slow you down.
Mm-hmm. Sometimes you gotta quickly make a choice about what you're coloring. Don't overthink it, just go with your gut. It's gonna look beautiful no matter what you choose. train out there tonight. Doing train things. Okay, I think this is where we're going to leave it. It doesn't look like much, but it is a lot. And I think it's best to take your time. And be intentional with your watercolor movements. And the colors you choose. And how you want to make it look. So yeah, I'm super excited to come back to this and see how the rest of it turns out with you. I'll definitely do this in a little bit down the road. We'll finish it. Well, this might take us a couple videos, honestly. Because, I, again, I like to take my time. It just feels better to not rush through it. To savor the present moment of the coloring. I love that. So... I encourage you this week to find a little simple routine that you can incorporate if you already aren't before you go to bed. 
just to start building some nice solid habits that make you feel good in the end. I, I while that was a very challenging and hard time of my life, I always turned to that routine to make myself feel better at the end of the day. And it, it honestly worked. It really did. So if you're going through a challenging time, you're not alone. It will pass. I don't know how long it's going to be there. We don't know that. But you can find little things to help ease it. Just so you can breathe and get some space, you know, from what's troubling you. So, thank you. Thank you so much for being with me today. I'm so happy you stopped by the cozy corner that you spent some time with us. I'll see you again real soon.